गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज फॉर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास थर्ड चैप्टर वन नंबर एंड न्यूमिनेशन दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर टू टूडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज वन ए इन बुक रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक्स दैट वी डिस्कस यस्टर डे दैट इज मिसिंग नंबर न्यूमरल्स फॉर द गिवन नंबर नेम्स and numbers shown on abacus and their number name so start with question number 1 write the missing numbers part a dash 4556 comma 4557 comma dash dash as in the previous lecture number 1 i told you the concept of before and after before before solving these questions i just want to tell you the hindi meaning of before and after before means in hindi pehle and after means in hindi baad mein you can easily do this question 1 by counting numbers also so here in the first fill up we have to write the number that comes before 4556 is 4555 and the numbers that come after 4557 are Four thousand five hundred fifty-eight, comma four thousand five hundred fifty-nine. Part B. Given question is five thousand one hundred eleven, comma five thousand one hundred twelve, comma dash, comma dash, comma dash. Now. you have to write numbers that come after 5112 are 5113 comma 5114 comma 5115 C given question is dash seven thousand five hundred eighty five comma seven thousand five hundred eighty six comma dash comma dash. Now you have to write number that comes before seven thousand five hundred eighty five. That is seven thousand five hundred eighty four. And the number that come after seven thousand five hundred eighty six are seven thousand five hundred eighty seven comma seven thousand five hundred eighty eight. Part D. Given question is dash comma dash comma dash comma 6500 comma 6501 you have to write numbers that comes before 6500 so in the first fill up you will fill number 6497 in second fill up you will fill 6498 and in the third fill up you will fill 6499 now let us start with question number 2 write the numerals for the given number names part a 2452 before starting this topic i just want to tell you while writing numerals of any number name we have to speak and write tens and ones place number together now here we will read this part one again 2452 here with 2000 is written so we will write 2 at 1000 place 
with 4 100 is written and we will write 4 at 100 place and at 10s and 1s place we will write 5 and 2. B. 5361 with 5 thousand is written so we will write 5 at thousands place 3 at hundreds place 61 6 at tens place and 1 at ones place part C we will write 6 at thousands place 2 at hundreds place, at a tens place, no digit. So we will write 0 there and at ones place we will write 3. Part D, 3215 with 3, thousand is written. So we will write 3 at thousands place. With 2, 100 is written. So we will write 2 at 100 place, 15, so 1 at 10's place and 5 at 1's place. Part E, 8306. Here in this given number name with 8,000 is written. So we will write 8 at 1000 place, 3 at 100's place, at 10's place no number is given. So we will write 0 there and at 1's place we will write 6. Part F, 9420. We will write 9 at 1000's place. 4 at 100 place, in 20, 2 at 10 place and 0 at 1 place. Part G, 7609. We will write 7 at 1000 place, 6 at 100 place, at 10 place. Now let us start question number 4. Read and write the numerals and their number names shown on the abacus. Part A. Here in the ab abacus places are written. Yesterday I told you in lecture number 1 we always start places from right hand side. And here O stands for ones. T stands for tens, S stands for hundreds, and TH stands for thousand. So here, question 4, parts A to F, you have to count the beads and write their numerals and number names in the space provided. Part A, Abacus, at one's place, no bead is there, so we will write zero. At tens place, 5 beads are there, so we will write 5. At hundreds place, no bead is there, so we will write 0. And at thousands place, 2 beads are there, so we will write 2. So number formed is 2, 0, 5, 0. And its number name is 2050 Part B In the Part B at 1's place there are 3 beads at 10's place there are no there is no beat at 100's place there is no beat at 1000's place there are 4 beads so number formed is 4003 and its number name is 4003 part C 
At one's place there are four beads. At tens place there is no bead. At hundreds place there are three beads. At thousands place there are four beads. So number formed is four three zero. Four and its number name is four thousand three hundred four. At ones place there are five beads. At tens place there are two beads. At hundreds place there are three beads. At thousand place there is one bead. And number formed is one three two. Five. Its number name is one thousand three hundred twenty-five. Part E. At ones place there is no bead. At tens place there are five beads. At hundreds place there are four beads. At thousands place there are two beads. And number formed is two four. Five zero. Its number name is two thousand four hundred fifty. Part F. At ones place there are two beads. At tens place there are five beads. At hundreds place there are two beads. At thousands place there are four beads. So number formed is four. Two five two, and its number name is four thousand two hundred fifty two. Now you have understood the topics. So homework for today is exercise one a page six and seven. Question one parts e. F and G. Question three parts A B. Read page three and fill in the blanks. Do all homework in your maths book.